All right, this game is called God of Thunder. It is a, a DOS game. So you can see I load up DOS box to be able to play it. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. Go ahead and just start a, a new one here. Just to uh, get things going. I'm not going to use a controller, I'm going to use a keyboard with this one. So this game, it's split up into three episodes. Part 1, 2, and 3. Um, each one has a, a major boss to it. So, um, yeah, like the first one, Serpent Surprise, the boss is a, a serpent. And then part 3 is you fight Loki, of course, right? He's the ultimate villain for Thor. So let's go ahead and start. As you can see here, um, Odin, he gives us some uh, backstory on what's going on. Basically, he was doing his uh, Odin sleep. And uh, Loki, he, you know, went in and took over Midgar for some reason. You know, he does that, I guess. And um, in this case, Jormungun, Gr Jormen the, the, the Midgard serpent, he's, he's the, the guy we gotta fight this, in this episode, in this part. And, uh, yeah, so Odin just tells us we gotta go, we've got our hammer, and, yeah. So the way this game plays, it starts you off with this options menu, so you can change the sound, whatever, and turn the music on and off. Skill level, they're easy, normal, and tough. I haven't played it on tough, but normal is a pretty fair challenge. Easy is what I used to play all the time as a kid. I played this game tons as a kid. But, uh, that was way back when, before I even had the full full game. All I had was the, uh, part one. But, um, yeah. We're just gonna stick on normal. Uh, you can save, you can load, you can die, you can turbo mode. Turbo mode, I actually want that off. So, die. So there are puzzles in this game. Lots of puzzles. And if you need to restart the screen, then you, you kill yourself. These yellow globy orb things, this is how you talk to Odin every once in a while. He'll give you hints about what you need to do. It's mostly, like this one, it's kind of like telling you, hey, you can touch these things and they'll talk to you. But he's also giving us some uh, some uh, lore or whatever, I guess you could say. So that's an enemy right there. But um, our main ability is our hammer, of course. And just like, you know, it should. Whenever you throw your hammer, it comes back to you. And it'll track you however you move, you know? There are people out here you can talk to. He's just, you know, talking to us. So this game does have a little bit of a um, comedic tone to it. So, uh, let's read this, what he, he says here. Um, Yeah, so German Gun's terrible purse, terrible snake. Wouldn't want to be in your shoes. I guess that's not that funny, but uh, there are funny moments in this game. So let's go ahead and uh, get going here. So these are these blue jewels I can pick up. They give me one jewel down there. There is also a red variant, which gives me, I think, 10? As you can see at the bottom of the screen, I have a health bar. And a magic bar. I don't have anything... I have no items currently, so I don't have anything that uses magic. Oh yeah, as you saw, you can have your hammer. Your hammer does not go through everything. It goes through some things, but not everything. So, um, it'll sit there and spin. And and I can't 
like, use it again until it comes back to me, of course. Bats. Bats are like the, the worst enemy in this game, just because they take so many hits to die. Alright, so yeah, apples restore your health when you're hurt. Any of these bats will hurt me again. Nope, okay. Enemies will come back to each screen after you leave it. But uh usual usually um items and such won't. So like the jewels aren't back or anything. Wow, I'm good at this. <laughs> um okay, so these dollar sign doors they cost money to get through. Uh this one in in this case costs ten. Yeah, ten. And inside is a lot more money. These are just like rats or something. The crown I just got, um, it just gave me, it just added to my score. So, um, in game it doesn't really do anything, it just adds to my score. So as you can see there, that is a locked door. And I need a key to open it. So we have to go around here and find a key. Tricky little guys. So if we go over here, of course I know where the key is, but if we go over here. Mm. Wow. Mm. These these are these are bad apples. If I eat one, I'll lose health. Mm. See? This is a, a switch. Which you can move into it to activate it, or you can use your hammer. These are one-way arrows. So you can only move the direction in which they are going. You can't go back. That worm guy, he has instant kill attacks. I'll go ahead and... Uh... Oh yeah, so when you, ch when you change screens, uh, it basically is like a, a checkpoint. Whereas if anything happens on the screen, it will be undone if I die. So those snake guys, or those worm guys, they have these like instant kill attacks just by looking at you. Watch. And now the screen is reset with the enemies. Now because I went back after I got the apples, the apples didn't come back. But we can use these blocks, you can push them to block his sight. This red door needs a hundred jewels to open. So it's a good thing we went through that house to get all those jewels. Now keep in mind, uh, these um, spike things will, uh, they'll kill you if they go up. So if I hit the switch right now, I die! So... <laughs> okay. So yeah, you have to be careful about how you do things. And you don't have to kill all the enemies, so I'm just gonna ignore that guy, because it's apparently harder to fight than I thought. So we'll use our key to open this door. Go down this hole. And we'll see some more stuff. Again, a switch that moves spikes. We can collect some jewels. There's an old man down here. He doesn't want us to bother him. And these spiders, they also will kill you instantly. A lot of that going around. If they uh, they look at you, and so you have to cross these areas when they're not looking at you, when they're going up, basically. More bats and bugs. Yeah, so bats are pretty tough because they're just highly mobile and they take like three hits to kill on normal difficulty. On easier difficulty, they take fewer hits, I believe. And, um, I don't know if I should show the boss or not. 
But basically the the difficulties do make a difference on like the bosses too. Not that they take more hits per se, but they they definitely move faster and such. So a lot of common things in this game are like hidden passages too. So if you look at this bush in particular right here, it's actually lighter colored than say the other bushes of the similar shape on the screen. So that means it's a fake one. You can shoot it with your hammer and there's a hole underneath it with just treasure inside. And um, so basically the end of the game, it, it adds up your score and you, you have a high score list that you can put your, that it saves your name to. But that's basically it. It's not like there's leaderboards or nothing like that crazy stuff. Oh, do you see a bush here that is different colored? Right here. So obviously I'm not going to go through the whole game, but you get the idea. Oh, I gotta watch out for that eyeball up there. As I go ahead and, and kill myself. So the skunks, they, they send an attack out backwards when they're not facing you. That's just how they work. Oh yeah, you can punch enemies out, although it's not recommended because you're taking damage when you're hitting them. It's just, if you don't have your hammer, then you gotta be able to do something, you know? So it's nice that they put that in. Stand back here, hit the switch. Down there we'll get our first magical item. As soon as I get some of this stuff. So this is the enchanted apple. As the first magical item you get, it's a healing item. You uh, spend magic to turn it into health. That's a key I just picked up. Mm, there is another secret passage down here. We can go just to get some stuff. We can turn the rest of our health into, or the rest of our magic into health, and then pull up on magic. So here is we get to the town, Spegville, population 23 I guess. So here you can talk to people, and this is a, uh, yeah, talk about how I'm going to go defeat the boss, Drumming Gun, Drumming Gun, I don't know. But yeah, so let's just make this quicker here. So I'll speed things up here. I'll uh, show a little bit of um, what you're supposed to do. So that is a bad guy right there. He'll shoot arrows at you if he's looking at you. I'm going to all the treasure places. I shouldn't. So yeah, this this is this is a bridge that you have to get fixed. And there's a bunch of stuff you have to go through the village to be able to get it fixed. So what you can do with this... When I see a bunch of magic, I usually try to, you know, change my magic into health. Now, um, here is the interesting thing about health and such. Yeah. So, um, there are these uh, angel looking things that will restore your health or magic. So like there's a red one that will restore only your health and the green one will only restore only your magic. However, the first item you get is a healing item, 
which turns magic into health. So if you can just find a, a, a green angel, you can have full health and magic. But um, sometimes they'll give you only a red angel, so you don't want to spend all your magic on health, because if they give you a red angel, then you can only restore your health and you're still out of magic. Uh, but sometimes the game will give you a, both a red and a green angel next to each other, which to me seems, I don't know, kind of, I mean, you don't really need both together at the same time, because if you just have a green one, you can get both. So this is the bridge repair guy, uh, TV and bridge repair, actually. And uh, if you go in now, he'll just say he's not open for business. You have to um, do a bunch of other stuff in town before he opens up for some reason. Oh, there's a magic shop down there, which you need full magic to go ahead and buy something, I believe. Magic, buying, he's buying magic. Give you 200 jewels, you don't need jewels. He'll give you the key. Give you a key to his house, what a nice guy. So then you go in here, and there's another magic item over there. But there's all these spiders and things that can kill you. So just very careful. And we got lightning! So this looks like this. And it'll, uh, you know, destroy the enemies that are around us if they are destroyable. So like that guy. But like, not the spiders. Hmm. Alright, so look, we have here, this is a hermit's house. Doesn't want us to bother him, but hey, let's go in. So yeah. So he's talking about how, you know, characters, they just all one way wreck. All, they all randomly walk around. But he's looking for something. It doesn't say what exactly. So let's, let me, let me try to demonstrate some of the comedy part of this game somewhere. Because I'm trying to say this game is kind of funny, but I haven't shown it really. Okay, yeah, here we go, here we go. So, this guy's like, don't mind my wife, she's a bit upset that we had to sell our shrub. Person I didn't care for, the darn thing. A town drunk bought it for his aunt, but why is anyone's guess? And we talked to her, and she's actually, like, very upset that they had to sell their shrub. Uh, to rock trolls or something. Oh, rock trolls would, would try to get it. So, oh, that's right. They they gave it up because rock trolls mm -hmm. were trying to get it from them. So we know that rock trolls have an interest in their shrub, which we may or may not be able to uh, get a hold of. Just saying. Mm -hmm. This is uh, McElroy's fresh... You can... Uh, if you see this guy around, you can buy apples to refill your health. Although I, I rarely ever do it because uh, it's really ever necessary, and it's like it takes away jewels, which are towards my high score, which I kind of care about but don't really. So we walk into this guy's house, and he's like, "Hey, what are you doing in my house?" And he hits us, and we lose some health. So that's kind of funny. So uh, this lady here. She admits that she took it, 
something that uh, the old man was looking for, that hermit, actually. Uh, she hid it in her old room at her mother's house on the northwest side of town. So, we can look for it. Wait, I already talked to that guy. Oh yeah, so uh, you can actually kill... You have to be careful not to kill uh, civilians. Because it will actually take away from your score. You can see right here. And Odin will chime in the first time and say, It's fun to shoot people, but if you kill all the good guys, you'll never complete your mission. And you lose points too. You can see my score, it'll go down. Yeah, I lost a thousand points. Okay, this is the uh, the house, as it so happens. This is the, uh, the thing. Odin's like, you found a child's doll. Put it under your shirt, and please don't let anyone see you carrying it. Mm. This, uh, this is the lady's mom. She's like, huh, I dare you accuse my daughter of stealing. Whatever. So uh, if I pull it out right now... You put that away! What would Hercules think if he saw you playing with that? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And then the game will also, like, reference itself as being a game sometimes. Uh, we can go give this doll back to the old man. And then I think... I'll... I guess I can go a little bit further. Where did you find Miss Muffy? I've been looking for her for months. What's with the doll? Miss Muffy is not a doll! Whoa. Uh, how do I find German again? Yeah, yeah, I gotta get someone to fix the bridge. And then he tells me the guy... The bridge shop. Just zoom over there real quick. This is the guy's wife. And he talks about, or she talks about how, um, you know, slaves away making food and he's ungrateful and stuff. She doesn't think very highly of him, apparently. So this guy starts off, he's like, hey, or hi, and welcome to Rugs TV and Repair and Bridge Repair. We can fix absolutely anything, as long as it's a TV or a bridge. What needs fixing? My TV. What's wrong with your TV? It don't work. Gee, that was real informative. I don't know, you telling me. Listen, bud, I can take enough of that stuff for my wife. I have nothing. Uh, a bridge. All right, which bridge needs? My dental bridge. <laughs> Hang on, Thor. I'm a TV and a bridge repairman, not a dentist. London Bridge. Sorry, we only work within a 50 mile radius. Creekins Bridge. Okay, I'll send my crew right over. It'll be fixed before you know it. And as a matter of fact, it'll be fixed as soon as we get over there. So yeah, this is God of Thunder. There is, you know, some walking around town uh, type uh, talking to people to figure out things. Uh, don't even talk to this. He's a drunk. There's enemies to fight. There are puzzles to solve. It's a total package, right? Uh, yeah, so the bridge is fixed. So you can see another fine job done by Rogue's TV and bridge repair. So this is where this is where the game, you know, kind of turns into more puzzles. And there's stuff to do. Also be on the lookout for... So, if you take a look at the rocks down below, this rock has like so many cracks, this rock has a ton more cracks, and that means it's actually movable. Whoa! You see another rock that's movable? Whoa, whoa! Yeah, so I don't want to give away all the secrets. That guy, you can talk to him on your own. Um, let's see, how do I get here? 
But yeah. Uh, the reason we had to get we had to get thunder is to get past this guy. Because you can't shoot him, but you can use your thunder. And use it again to hit the switch. You can pass through here. Alright, so I'm just gonna call it right here. I'm gonna quit here. Let's go back to the opening screen. Alright, um... So as I said, there's multiple... There's multiple, um... Stories as you... But yeah. There's different locations. Although it's mostly caves and plains and towns. But yeah, that's the game. Um, if you, I will put a link to where you can get it. It is it is abandoned where, so it's so old that um, basically the creator's given up uh, ownership of it. So you can download it for free, and uh, I'll put a link to that in the description. If you have any other questions about the game, you go ahead and ask. But this is a, a technically a free game in a way. So yeah, go ahead, go play it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.